This is Andy Perrault of ID Boxing. I'm joined by Josh Warrington here in Nottingham. Josh, we've just seen Lee Wood lose his WBA World title to Maurizio Lara in the seventh round. Just your initial reaction to the stoppage and obviously Ben Davison throwing the towel in so late into the round. Um, I think I can understand where Ben's coming from, but I can understand why people are a little bit upset. Obviously, he's here at the moment. Ben's probably not realised how long he was left. He's halfway through the fight. Well, it's in the second half of the fight, isn't it? It's in the second half of the fight, and uh, it's not like you know Tony we're talking about up there. It's not like the Conlon fight where he's got put down early and he's still fresh. It's halfway through, and he's, he's he has already taken some big shots. Not that he ever looks really hurt, but there was a moment or two when I thought he was a little bit unsteady. The way that he got up and he walks to the corner, and with Michael Alexander looking at him called him on he still looks a little bit shaky obviously Ben Davidson is at lower light he's probably just looking at his legs he can't really see his eyes and he's probably gone off that direction um, if he were early on I'd, he'd probably let him go on but and, and Ben may, may kick himself about uh, uh, you know the time but it, he at the moment he's probably didn't realise the time and you know he's looking after this man isn't he? he he got put down last time against fucking Michael Conlon, got put down against Lara. Lara was slavering at the chops, so we couldn't wait to get back out to him. Only takes one one punch. And you know, we all love the fights to go on. But at the same time it's fucking barbaric sport. One more punch could have put him in hospital, put him in a coma and stuff like that. So, you know, it might be the right decision. Uh, as a fighter yourself and somebody who I imagine you'd have been as frustrated as what Lee was if he was in that predicament ever. Um, where, where do you go if you're Lee Wood now? Do you take that rematch or do you have an interim fight? What, what do you do if you're Lee Wood? Yeah, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be thinking he can do that straight away, but he got cut and that cut looked nasty. That's not going to heal straight away. You know, my gym mate, Maxi Hughes, um, got cut against Kid Galad and you know, he, he wasn't able to spar for a few months after. So, ideally, you want to be having a month or so off fight anyway from the gym, especially getting, you know, knockout, taking every knockdown like that. It's not something that you want to really rush him back at. So, you know, give it a month or two. Then he's got to start camping, sticking over again. He ain't going to be out until, I think, second half of the year, you know, after, after August time. So, in the meantime, why can't me and Larry get it on? You know, we've been talking about a rubber match. Eddie's been saying it, speaking about it all week. Larry's been mentioning him in interviews. Let's fucking do it. You know, let's do it. And I would, I've, I've, I've said it already, I would happily give... Um, give Lee the opportunity to, to fight myself, come through a ladder fight. Because, um, you know, if he fell short, that would, you know, one punch his boxing, but he was cruising it. And uh, he's still did a big domestic fight. He's got a very well supported here tonight. You know, a few of them give me some stick, but he's very well supported. And I think it's, it's still a massive stadium fight and styles, styles clash. So I think it would be a good big fight for both of us. Josh, I spoke to Maruto earlier in this week and he was adamant that he wanted that trilogy back with yourself. Um, it certainly seems to be, I don't like to use the word hate, but that would be the word that I'll describe that he has towards you. I would say that. I would say hate. I would say hate. I would say that he's, um, like I say, I, I keep on repeating myself, but he's, he's got this fucking stigma that I've said something personal about his dad and then my dirty fighter because I'd butted him. I mean, you, you watch the fucking, the zone behind the scenes. All he does is say, like, after the Edinley one, oh, dirty bastard. It. When you watch it back and, and see that, he Simon calls over the doctor. Oh, sorry. He Simon calls over the referee. If he really wanted that fight to continue, he just fucking cracked on. So it was him complaining. And like tonight, first round, Lee Wood gets cut. You know, it's Lara fucking going in with the head. And it's like it, not intentional, but when fighters are going forward and fucking going at speed, heads are right. It happens. It fucking it happens. And just when you got like a say clash of styles, two guys going forward, it just it's one of them things. And um, yeah, he's made it personal now and he says he wants to he wants to finish my career. And for myself, I've just been laughing about that, but spitting at me, that fucking I mean, you know, I want to take a little cunt's head off. I wanted to touch on that. Obviously, I saw uh, some people tweeting about it. I didn't see that happen. I saw him run over to you after the fight and um, trying to jump at you from the ring. Can you just elaborate as to what happened there? He could have jumped at me. He could have jumped at me. He got half out of the ring, I stood up, and he started to take himself back in, and then he's fucking shouting and screaming. Obviously, everyone gets rounders, but then they spat at me. And like, I can don't mind a bit of WWF fucking shouting and screaming at each other, but he's spinning at me. It's fucking lowest to low, is that? So, um, you know, 
I've never felt it personal, but it's when you start getting to that stage, it's come. <laughs> Honestly, like I said, I wanted to sit up there when I was there. Just have to let that one yourself, Andy. But um, yeah, he's uh, he's made it nice time. I'm fucking fuming, fuming. Well, Josh, listen, it has been a long night and you're not done just yet, so I'm going to shoot off myself now. Good to see you as always. Thanks, Peter. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your time.